Yes, guys, how is everyone? So, it's a little video going around, isn't it? About the Leeds United players ignoring a kid at a hotel. I saw this last night. Um, in the midst of, of, of what happened, the result. And then, obviously, I was very angry. I was upset. I was sad that this is our club and this is the situation we're in. But I didn't make a video about it because I wanted to wait. I wanted to calm down because it's very easy to scapegoat something and, and, and linchpin something that because of a, you're feeling bad because of a bad emotion after you just had a terrible result. And this is a video that could do that. And I didn't want to do that. So, I, but now I'm going to speak about it. I've, I've got more context. I understand it more. I understand a little bit of the situation because of where I stood it. So we'll get into it. So, first of all, the video is is the, the players walking past the kid, not acknowledging him, not signing, not even looking at him. Now, that's the bit that annoys me about this, and I'll get into that in a minute. But I'll talk about the bit that I think actually all right, and the bit that the players can't control, and the context because context is huge. So that there's a video of uh, pictures of his dad, which put which he did actually meet the players. The guys who I believe must have gone before them signed his thing, fist pumped him, said hello, tickled him under the chin, whatever he said. He did. He met some of the players. The players were fine. Now, what I think's happened is the players that have walked out after are after those players that did sign. And they've been told by people at the club that we are running late. You have to go straight onto the coach. No interactions. We can't delay it. You have to go. Now, of course, you have to be on time. You know, this is either coming or going to a game. You have to be on time. If you know it's a security risk, if you're going to the game, of course, you have to be on time because that's your schedule. Security risk again. You know, if people get wind that Legion United at this hotel, hundreds could come. So I get that. So the players have been told to go straight down. Don't interact. No signings. You have to go because if you sign one, you'll have to sign others. You'll have to sign all these. You'll be late. And there's more than one player. So every player then will do it. So the players that went out before were clearly ahead of these guys. I don't know how, it might be a minute or two, three, four, five minutes before. You know, they're at the hotel, they take the time. These guys are coming out later. So they've been told, we can't be late, you have to go straight. And I get that. I'll get on to the bit that I, that annoyed me massively. But to apply context to that, so I study at um, a Premier League football stadium, right? And I don't, not, not, not not the club, the uni the university isn't the club, but the campus is at the stadium. But there's superstars walking around that stadium often. And we've been told because it's their place of work and it's their time, we are not allowed to interact with them. Security risk. So for example, there's a group of 10 of us walking through the stadium and there's a footballer. And we all stop and say hello. The footballer will probably walk past and say hi back. They don't care. But we've been told we're not allowed to interact. Because interactions can lead to more interactions, which can waste a footballer's time. Is it a stadium where there's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 people in it at once? The footballer won't feel like he's in a place of work. He'll feel like he's in public. When he's at work, he's at work. You don't speak to them at work. Because then they're signing, there'll be centre of attention outside of work and centre of attention in work, in the stadium. Right? It's like on the pitch. They don't sign, they don't sign on the pitch, do they? Because they're at work. So I understand it from that aspect. Having said that, if we walk past a player, it doesn't happen a lot, but it's rare. But when it did happen once or twice, you walk past a player and do that, they'll do that back. And that's what annoyed me about this, the acknowledgement. There's two or three players who have clearly seen the kid. Clearly. And they walk straight past on the phone. Don't even acknowledge it. Now, I'm not, asking them to sign it i'm not asking them to even shake his hand or pat him on the head because they might not be allowed to do that right S silly reason but they might not but what they should have done and anyone should have done even the players that are coming out later is that just drop him a smile just acknowledge him that he's there because you've seen him we've all done this you don't want to talk to someone so you Turn you on your phone, tell you've not seen him. Two or three of them have done that. I get it, they're in the zone. I get it, they're preparing. 
I get it, they might not be in the best mood, they might not be in a social mood. I don't know if they're coming or going, I don't know. But it's the same thing for me. But you have to acknowledge him. Just give him a little head nod. That's it. That's all that was needed from that video. That one player looks the opposite way when he walks past the kids, they have to say he's not seen him. Then two walk straight past on their phones. Two walk past after that. But the security guard is then stood in front of the kid. Because he's probably been told to do that. To avoid any more delays, they have to go straight past. You can't speak to the kid. Whatever. Like, Rodrigo goes through there, head down. And what I will say about that is Rodrigo, as we know, there's a picture of Rodrigo getting out of the car. It's a great picture. He stops the car himself, signs it, and then gives the kid his boots. These guys are good people, generally, a lot of them, right? And we know they do good things. We've seen them do good things. Also, a thing to think, at, when people go to signings like this, we saw it out of the hotel where the Man United team was staying. They've been told that there's people there that are buying club stuff and get only there to get it signed to sell on. Now, the club are obviously going to advise you and tell you not to do that. One, they're not fans that are wanting your signing for you personally, but they're using the club's merch to sell on and then, I guess, sell. I'm not a businessman, but I guess to sell, taking business away from the club or something like that. I don't know. But these guys that do go there, you know, just sign this, sign this, and they'll just sell it. The players don't want that. And the people around the club are aware of that as a business. You know, you're not going to do that. So there's that side to it. But this doesn't, this doesn't say the players cannot even acknowledge the kid's existence. That's bang out of order for me. But what we do know about a lot of these players is they are good people. They do take time out, out of work to to talk to people on the streets. They do it. They take pictures. They chat to people. They smile to people outside the ground, even after games or before games. They'll sign stuff. Is that um, Sean McGurk? We saw it. The little fan there goes and goes into, oh, do you want some boots? Goes and gets some, his boots from his car as well. There's lots of videos. They're not bad people. I see it when I go to the stadium every now and again. I look at the players. They do talk to the kids by the tunnel after they've done the warm-up. They're not allowed to do that before the warm-up because that's the routine. After the warm-up, they've got two or three minutes to walk back in. That's when they're allowed to sign. And the, there's so many rules. But this doesn't take away from the fact that the, the guys could literally walk past and just go, that's, that's like, that's bang out. I agree, that's not right. However, they will... They will make it up. They've said that in the letter. They'll make it up to the kid. They'll make the kid's dreams come true. Good. Also, there's no cameras there. They probably will be. But just do it. Make the kid's life feel better. Because that's a little kid, man. And that, a lot of these footballers have been in that situation. They've been that kid. Best believe Liam Cooper's been that little kid. Now, watching this, I don't know if Liam Cooper saw him. I'd like to think if he did, Liam Cooper is the type of guy that would pat him on the head, give him a fist pump. Because he is that guy. And he's done it loads. I don't know. But for some of them, just to look and nod is all you're asking as a kid, as a fan. Just acknowledge your existence. That's all they want, these little kids. It's all I wanted when I was a kid. It's all you guys wanted when you were a kid if you walked past your footballer. And you're doing that. And then they smile at you and you go, and then you look at your mum and dad. You know? Sick. Yeah. I don't know. They're in a rush. They've been told to do that. The guys before did sign and he got some good conversation with some players, which is good. Now he's going to meet all the players. I'd imagine they're all going to sign and he's going to have a good day. Great. That's all I've got to say on that. Like it's, just, we need to, it's easy to jump on that, given the negativity around what's happening, and it's easy to link to Bielsa. But that's the situation. There is sides to it that we need to look at here, to be fair to the players. I know we don't like them at the moment. They're not performing well, but that doesn't mean the horrible people that just decided to ignore a kid. There is an issue of, and it was some of the younger guys as well, acknowledging him, just nodding to him. That's not hard. That's easy to do. But yeah, for the most part, I don't think it's as bad as what's been blown out of proportion. Just what, if you're not allowed to sign the kid for security reasons, time, everything like that, some players did before, but if those guys have been told to hurry up, they could be five minutes after the guys. We don't know that. Then just walk past and at least nod, wink at him. Do a bit of that. That's it. That's all it needs. That's all he wanted. But yeah. 
Let me know what you guys think. Let's not think of this, right? Let's just, it's not that bad. He did get signed shirts. He did get stuff signed. He did speak to some players. Uh, and he will meet them all. But to those that did see him and chose to not even look and not nod, loosen up. These are just kids like you were. These all had a dream, just like you did. Yeah. Acknowledge the kid, especially in Perth, and any club, but you're at Leeds United. We've, we've been known this last few years. We also brought the community, said it's about the fans. We wore shirts wearing, saying it's about the fans, you know. Back that up. Just nod at the kid. Just acknowledge his existence. That's it. If you if you're allowed and you have time, sign it. And I'm sure they did. And some of them did. But yeah, I'm just blabbering now. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate the support. Just a little catch up on my opinion on this. Um, yeah. Push.